Uh, Gene Kang is on the parade route as well, and when we checked in with you before, it was rowdy there as well. Hi. Hi, it is still rowdy out here. We are on the thick of things, and we're live out here on Grand Avenue. And I'm telling you, people, let's go Dodgers! you're going to hear that all day, every day. Let's go Dodgers. And they are waiting for those buses to roll through. But as you see, this is almost the end of the parade. So this is Grand, right before they make a turn onto Flower Street. And who do we have here? Zulema. OK, and who is your favorite player? Mookie Betts! Mookie Betts, right there. I'm, Mookie. I'm gonna marry him, he just doesn't know it yet. Okay, <laughs> he needs to propose, right? Okay, Mookie, if you're watching, you gotta propose to her. So tell me about the drama of these games because it was a roller coaster ride. It was, it really was. They had us all on the edge of our seats. I was in California and my best friend was in Colorado. We were on FaceTime just trying to, you know, we couldn't keep up, we couldn't keep up. <laughs> you were like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Did you think they were gonna win the last game? I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, we all knew they were going to win. You, you are a <laughs> true optimist altogether. And we talked to you earlier, but you've got like the baseballs, you've got the Otani hat. Yes, sir, I came out here with my cousin right here, flew out, he picked me up for game two, then we flew out again last night, he picked me up, and we're here to celebrate. We're tired of here in the Mickey Mouse Championship. We're here for a real championship, and we're fucking here to win. M-I-C-K-E-Y, no more Mickey Mouse Club, right? No, no more Mickey Mouse. It's a real championship we got, and no one can talk shit on this organization no more. And definitely this is one of those things, because in 2020, it was a pandemic, we couldn't have a parade. Yep, yes, exactly. Now we got Otani a ring in his first year. You know, the whole city's out. We're all happy. We're all excited. You know, we beat the Yankees in the World Series, one of the biggest World Series in the past decade. We're all just excited to be here. Thank you guys. You guys must be the good luck from game two rolling through. All right, have a good time. And we're going to roll through here. Who wants to be on TV? We're live on KTLA. Right. All right. Talk to us. Talk to us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We'll talk to you next. Hey, what's your, what's your name, buddy? Hey, I'm Jeff. Jeff, nice to meet you. So tell me, who's your favorite player? Do you have one? You know what? Right now, it's Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Yeah, okay. I was excited to bring over from Japan. He pitched fantastic in the World Series. Really got us there. Well, what about Otani? Oh, man. I love Otani. Okay, I no, love no. Otani. I'm telling man. you, I'm telepathic. Some, you know something, I had a connection right there. So I've been talking to them. They said they weren't sure if they're going to win the last game. It's been a roller coaster, very right. dramatic. So this was a really great upset. Yeah, it was a fantastic upset. It got a little dicey there, especially when it was up 5 nothing. But once we saw those mistakes and I saw Kike get on base, it was over. I knew it was a lock. You're like game finished. Hell yeah, Kike's been here before. We won in 2020. Kike is really the key to October for us. So tell me about the atmosphere out here. Uh, and Matt Spinelli, look at this. There is a look sea of, of blue and white all across the street. They are up and down Grand Avenue. They are waiting for these players to show up in the buses with the trophy. What do you feel like right now? Everybody's been great. We've all been a family here. We've all been having fun. Nobody's been pushing anybody out of the way. This has all been fun. And we all do this for Fernando, man. This is Fernando's birthday. There we go. You came from Mexico. Yeah. Sonora, Mexico, where Fernando Valenzuela's from. Yeah. Rest in peace. I, I just want to say shout out to Sonora. The reason why I'm a Dodger fan is because of my grandpa. He's from Sonora. So, Fernando to us. You know, can you sing him happy birthday? Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Happy birthday, cha cha. Happy birthday to Fernando. Happy. Cha. I like that part. I like. Who do we have here? Who do we have here? Yes, we know. All right, Gene, thank you. A little technical stuff there. Lots of yeah. cell phones downtown, I think. That's probably getting in the a way. Lot of <laughs> a yeah. lot of signals crossing. Mm -hmm. uh, really cool images here. You've got uh, images from the bus. Look at that curve that's, going around there. Look how many people. Look how deep that is. That's amazing. And you know, that reminds me of the Rose Parade. It does. When you yeah. roll around yeah. the Colorado. Uh -huh. Yep. But it's many, many more folks yeah. on that corner than typically we'd see on the Rose Parade. You know, the Dodgers kids, they're 
you know, they all, yeah, most yeah. of them have like little kids. So, you know, they're, they've seen crowds at the stadium, you know, a Dodger show. What do you, I wonder what the kids that are on the bus looking out, what they're thinking. Of I was ah. thinking about, you know, you, we all know this, Glenn and I know this, well, we, you have kids and sometimes we go out and you're like, oh, your dad's the weather guy, your dad's yeah. the anchor. Our kids don't care about no. that. No. <laughs> they could care less who we are. And about this, I think finally, maybe they're yeah. like, oh, my dad really is important. Oh, my dad's right. kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's Clayton Kershaw. Oh, my dad is, wow. you know. Look at the image on the left. It is incredible yeah. to see how many people in Los Angeles have shown up. And there's that curve shot again there. Yeah. We've got tons of reporters down uh, covering the parade route. One of them, Wendy Birch in her fabulous outfit. Uh, what's going on right now? You got new folks with you? when the bus is pulled out of here. But one quick minute, one quick minute. I'm a mother who just received a phone call saying your son Brady is missing one or more classes. And I now realize there are others. What grade are you missing today? What grade are you missing? What grade are you missing? What grade are Oh, well, you're graduated. You're graduated. Oh, my gosh, they're wrapping us. But let's just say, let's go Dodgers. 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 All right, Chip, uh, Yost is on the parade route as well, and apparently one of the buses right in front of him. Uh, Chip, can you tell who's on that particular bus? Let me turn around. It is, I was ducking down because I'm blocking everyone's view here. Well, let's look up there. We got the first bus going by. I'm up there. Let me ask one of the fans. Have you guys seen any of the players yet? Yankee Stadium when they won and um, Dave Roberts was on the stage, he seemed more excited about the parade <laughs> than yeah. even the championship in a fun way. But he, again, as many of you guys know, that they won in 2020, but they weren't able to have this right. parade. It's yeah. like an acknowledgement. And he said, we got a parade. Yeah. He was just so excited about yeah. that. That was, that was such a weird summer. It's like... Okay, yay, we won, but yeah. it was played Elected. in Texas on a neutral field, and right. a, you know a couple of Dodger fans were lucky enough to be able to go, but it was only a handful. It right. wasn't a lot. Yeah. Actually, my brother-in-law was on him, and he even said it was it was cool to be there, but it was kind of a weird atmosphere. And the great thing for this is it's not just celebrating the coaches and the players, but being able to bring the fans out too, because there's yeah. big Dodger fans, hey. like lifetime, generational Dodger fans it is. that want to be a part of it as well and a lot of times you can't afford to go yeah. to the games and so this way they get to see their players uh, their favorite players up close uh, and then you think about like those young players that haven't won a championship or haven't been on a bus in a parade for right. them must be amazing it's as well. amazing and you're with Shohei Otani yes. you're with Mookie Betts mm -hmm. you're with these legends these yeah. all-stars and you guys are doing it together. It's a team effort. Oh, there, speaking of Shohei, there's his dog. We love his dog. Oh, that's right. Decoy. Decoy. Oh, that's, I love that he takes Decoy everywhere. It's so cute. He even took a picture with the championship trophy It's as well. great. And he, Shohei, is just, he is elated. You could tell yeah. he's, he's very reserved. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the other yes He wanted this. He wanted this. That's why he left yes. that yeah. sign with the Dodgers. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's dreamt of this. He's talked about it with his family, his dad, since he was a little boy. And this is his opportunity, and he's getting it. And I, in the first year. 
How yeah. about that? And I, I heard where he told someone else uh, on one of the championship night, he was like, nine more, yeah. nine more, because he signed that 10-year yeah. contract. And he hasn't pitched yet. Yeah, so. exactly. We <laughs> haven't even seen that part. It's great. It's yeah. great. And I do want also set up, send out a big shout-out to all the concession workers mm. yeah. at Dodger Stadium. Yes. This is their parade, too. They've done a great job all season keeping the fans happy, fed, and everything else. And they're doing a great job. Yeah. So, so we're hearing reports that things have changed a little bit. There's not really going to be a ceremony at City Hall now, but we do know there's going to be one at Dodger Stadium, and uh, and waiting for that to get underway when these buses eventually make their way back to Dodger Stadium. Uh, David Pingalore up there with the rest of the media watching uh, and waiting for the Dodgers to come back to the stadium. Ping. Yeah. I mean, they they are pretty much, they're ready. I mean, every time I look up, there's like cheering. It seems like there's been a home run hit. But no, they, they're watching the monitor. They're watching the jumbotron there. And they're watching this parade route, as uh, you're seeing here, just weave their way up to Dodger Stadium eventually. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of adult beverages being consumed there. You can see a lot of the players just having a grand old time. This is something that when you're a professional athlete, you, you work towards, win a championship, and then you get you get the parade. Um, and, and maybe this is the start of something really special. You can see Clayton Kershaw there the other night after winning the World Series. He had his shirt off. He didn't care. He was just like, yeah. he was running around shirtless at, in the Bronx the other night. Yeah, that was, you know, it, it, and everyone was like, oh, he doesn't have a six-pack. Now we have guys up on the uh, light post there. Uh, very, it's very interesting. So yeah, so I, I've seen that situation with Kershaw before at a spring training. I'm, everyone thinks he's like, he's ripped out. He's not ripped out that much, but yeah, he was enjoying that moment. But you could just tell this is a guy that's won a championship with the Dodgers. But this, I mean, I was. You guys just mentioned the World Series there in Texas. Um, I was there for that. Um, it was obviously a different situation during COVID, and there was no parade. But this right here for these players that were on that team, and there are quite a few players, manager Dave Roberts obviously was managing then. Um, this right here is their moment. This is what they wanted, and they got it. I mean, look at the people just on the streets, the fans just yelling, cheering. You asked me a little bit ago, a lot of things I've covered through, through the years. And I've been to a lot of, and, and Glenn knows this down going to Florida State games, I've been to a lot of SEC football games, and those are loud, a lot of tailgating. Crowds are loud, like the Florida-Georgia game this weekend, the world's largest cocktail party, even though I don't want you to talk <laughs> yes. about it. This right here, this right here is like 20-fold. This is yeah. absolutely, the pictures are unbelievable. I mean, the fans are like 30 deep yep. coming yeah. up this parade route. And, and I'm going to tell you, when they get into this stadium, it's going to be as loud as Freddie Freeman's walk-off grand mm -hmm. slam last week to win, you know, that game in extra innings. I mean, I, I was here for that that night in game one, and it was loud. This place is going to erupt when they see these players Work their way through the center field pavilion up into just behind second base location, and it's going to be loud. And it's gonna, you're going to think it's like Freddie Freeman's grand slam just went off because I'm I'm amazed how many people are waiting for this moment here inside the stadium. So it's sold out, standing room only. They're buying hot dogs. They're they're, they're just waiting. Dodger dogs are being consumed along with uh, nachos, but I mean, just look at the people, the fans coming through downtown. This is uh, certainly, uh, I'm not speechless normally, right? <laughs> yeah. I just keep talking. Uh, this is making me kind of speechless just seeing how many people are out. It's, it's like no a, one, see a people no one's working sidewalk. today, it looks like. Well, yeah. it, it, no one's saying, working. You're saying 30 deep. I think it's more like 60, 90. Yeah, yeah. it does. It's, and these... Images are yeah. so iconic. Yeah. You're talking about the Walt Disney Hall, yep. Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, the City Music Hall. Center. There's the Gary. It, I mean, everything that we love here in LA represents Los Angeles. Yeah. And then you've got 
thousands and thousands of people on that corner and it's just these images are going across the world right now yep. and then pulling up to dodger stadium yeah how's that <laughs> another another iconic building yes. yeah <laughs> incredible you, you know ping uh, and, and, and go ahead I, I was going to add here just think about some of these guys in the roster you know they picked up flarity uh in the season via trade i mean some of these guys players I want to call them kids but they grew up here. They're living. You, you forget it. They won a championship, but they're on the, this parade route. Fifteen years ago, they were like ten years old. They're living the dream. I mean, when you yeah. think about it, they, this is something they grew up as probably a Dodger fan, made it to the big leagues, and brought a world championship to this organization. And they're part of this as growing up here. Yeah. Uh, you know, and sometimes, uh, sometimes it's actually. It's tough to come back and play in your hometown because you know so many people. They're like, "Hey, hey, Jack, can you give me some tickets to the game?" You know, there's a lot of distractions. But uh, you know, he was a big part of the championship run after that trade. And you know, I want to point something. You, you mentioned Clayton Kershaw. We showed him a couple of minutes ago. Of course, he was injured. Uh, didn't play in the postseason. Actually, I don't think he's played since like maybe July or August. But you know, he's he's a He's had a storied career with the Dodgers, uh, you know, several Cy Young awards, a dominant pitcher in his prime. And, you know, this may be the end of the road for him. We don't know what his future is. But you always, he was, during the playoffs, you always saw him. He was still with the team. He didn't disappear. They kept him around because he's a leader in that clubhouse. And I heard a story that before Walker Buehler went out to the bullpen to warm up in game five, that before he headed out there, that Kershaw grabbed him, <laughs> looked him in the eye, said I love you man you can do this yeah. and he went out and just as little subtle things like that make all the difference it's leadership yeah it's leadership he was up on the railing yeah. the whole time yep. inning one through nine and who was the first to run out when the strike was yeah. thrown it was Clayton he was the first one to run out to the mound he was you know he wasn't uh, you know a lot of a lot of guys will be like woe is me I'm not part of this yeah, I'm not yeah. playing but man he was there a cheerleader for everybody else. Yeah. And that says a lot to Dave Roberts yeah. as well and the way he manages these yeah. egos. Uh, you know, and, and speaking of egos, uh, second baseman uh, Gavin Lux said in an interview that, like, basically you've got all these good people on the team that want to win, right, just like any baseball team would want to win. But he said none of them have egos. Right. Of course they have egos, but they don't have that ego, right, yeah. where it's like, one person and then the rest of the team and i think that is one of the reasons why they were able to pull out this championship yeah and just just pure go get it um, we're going to do yes. this teamwork teamwork we're just going to do it and they did it yeah all right let's get back down onto the parade yeah, route they, they, and, they, uh, they, jennifer mcgraw down there in the crowd sorry ping bye jennifer <laughs> <laughs> see you soon ping anticipation is certainly building out here there are so many people here, it's outrageous. Take a look at the sea of blue and white. It is something spectacular, of course, to see, especially as super fans join us down here. People are coming out as early as 4 a.m. to get their spot in front so they could see the actual buses end here. But when you look off into the distance, you can see people over on that skywalk, people all over the buildings and then on top of the buildings. People here want to see their team win because what an epic series it has been. And I've already been sprayed with champagne, so that's how you know the party started. But also, we have a little tiny fan here, two months old. Raya, how's your first parade? Hi. Great. I can't wait to see everyone. And my family's here, just missing my little daughter, but we're having the best time. It's pretty bright. Yes, very. <laughs> very. How does it feel, Dad, to have your girls out here? And I was born a Dodgers fan. I was raised a Dodgers fan. It just feels good Le leaving the legacy on to my daughters as well. This is a family that bleeds blue. Bleeds blue. blue. Can we get a let's go Dodgers? Let's go Dodgers! Amazing, we love it. It's everybody all together celebrating for one cause. The Dodgers! Yeah! 
what an incredible season. What was one of your favorite moments, aside from Freddie Freeman's uh, walk-off Grand Slam? Besides the Freddie Freeman walk-off, I have to say Juan Soto making the 50-50 club. It's the woman we the weather, homie, we outside! They not like us! Are you going to be able to see the parade come? Probably not. But I'll just stand on this. A little something to stand on. That's cool. Yeah. People are prepared. They knew that there were going to be a lot of people. I'm, I'm told that it wasn't actually as bad as people anticipated getting out here. So we are at the end of the route. We are waiting for that bus to come by us. All these fans patiently waiting. Some as early as 4, others around 6 a.m. And just like that guy says, that family bleeds blue, L.A. bleeds blue. And this is going to be a spectacular moment for so many people out here. How are you feeling about bringing your family out here? Oh, I'm so excited. We came from Las Vegas. No way. We went this morning. This is my son, my daughter, my husband. And go Dodgers! Yeah! What was your favorite moment this season? Um, basically, um, it's like a lot of stuff to think about, like, like, uh, like sometimes when people get hurt, it's fine, though, but, 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 but they, but they come back and they go and, and then they always get better. Because the Dodgers don't give up. Yeah. <laughs> Las Vegas, that's pretty, that bringing your whole family. Yeah. Yeah, this morning at 6.15, we got on the plane and got here about 8.45. Think about the crowds. It's crazy. Like, I knew it would be like this, but this is just, I, I didn't think this big. This is awesome. Go blue. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you come from? Uh, Burbank. Yeah. How do you feel about the crowd? Did you think it would be this magnificent? Yeah, it's amazing. So many people. Yeah, this is great. Are you bonding? Are you making friends? Yeah, always, you know. I have to make friends with the Dodgers fans. Let's go Dodgers! There are so many people here that we are literally in a pen. <laughs> and we're just walking around talking to fans. So many people out here. How do you feel about being out here with all these people today? It's amazing! Let's go LA! Are you expecting this crowd? Of course. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, I hear that they're coming around the corner. Oh, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's see if I can find any more fans around here. What about you, sir? How are you going? Okay, this is the guy who also got sprayed with champagne. Are you feeling the party? Yes. <laughs> Who's your favorite player and what was your favorite moment? I don't know, like, like, Tani, Mookie, Freddie, Tani. I think it's coming. I think it's getting close because people are standing on their tippy toes. People have their phones out. The signal out here is crazy because there's millions of phones cutting the signal. Now I hear people screaming. It must be here. Climbing up on the light truck. Here we go. A bus of our boys in blue who have gone through injury after injury. Our pitching staff is in here because we still managed to do it. Beat the Yankees. Bringing the boys back home for a Friday parade. The crowd is going nuts. Look at there all those, they are. Look at up. It, it's amazing. I, it's, you feel like you're right in the you crowd. Do, it's you so do. loud. The noise. But this is great. And the kids are so cute. Naming off their favorite players, you know, it's just, it's so fun for the kids. I remember that. It was like Garvey, Salem, oh, yeah. Jaeger. <laughs> yeah. We were into that when we were in elementary school. We like had pinching yourself, here. huh? Oh, it's the best feeling. And these kids are, they will never forget this day as mm. long as they live. This is great. And look at the guys. Shirts off. Of course. I, I, I can't tell who it is, but I bet you one of them's Kiki Hernandez. <laughs> Probably. There, Magic Johnson was in the front of one of the buses. Is that Dave Roberts right there? Ago, Dave Roberts. Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah. Blast. All the families are... And, and the families have been just remarkable, too. I mean, imagine that. The pressure of their their loved ones are on the road. They're mm -hmm. playing in New York. They're playing in San Diego. They're playing all over the country. And they're just... You know, they got to support them. 
and yeah. they've done a terrific job. So kudos to all the Dodger families as well. All right, you can see there, though, as Kai said, probably those crowds are like 30, 50 oh. feet, 50 people deep along the along the parade route as they're uh, passing out by where Jennifer McGraw is. And this is great. you can see by the shot, boy, everybody's got their phones up trying to catch a, a, some kind of image uh, as those buses go by. I can't wait. A lot of excited people. Till we get the final tally. How many I know. people attend? What do we guess? I think it's going to be so much a, more than anyone expected. A million and a half? Maybe a million, million and a half. Wow. I think, I think, you're, I think that's right. Yeah, a million, million and a half, I would think. I mean, judging from what we've seen on these live shots so far, and, incredible. And then 56,000 waiting inside the stadium. Yeah. Uh, yeah I was just going to mention that. that. If you guys are you know, out there watching, uh, this is just the beginning. Yeah, this is the, the parade. Uh, then the guys and everybody going to get off those buses, going to head into Dodger Stadium where, is it 56,000? 56,000. 56,000 fans. Uh, Ping said it's standing room only in there. They're going to have a big rally and celebration. The coaches and the players will all speak. It's so exciting, and it'll be really fun to hear from the players, mm -hmm. just yeah. their excitement. And oh, we've yeah. seen a couple of them doing some beer bongs, <laughs> and uh, so that'll be fun and rowdy we, as well. I think we might hear some salty language a little bit later on, and, and if that happens, just want to warn our viewers, I might have. Wow, this guy up front Don't has a lot of tap yeah, tattoos all tattoos. over his body. Oh, oh yeah, but all those guys do now. Wow. Locker, you, you know, let's talk about Dodger Stadium. You, you know, you grew up here, Kai. Yeah. yeah. It's an iconic ballpark, largest one in Major League Baseball, the third oldest ballpark behind Wrigley Field in Chicago and Fenway Park in, Chicago, in uh, Boston. Now, all these stadiums have been renovated, mm -hmm. and they've all been updated. Unfortunately, Yankee Stadium, where they won the championship the other night, you know, the old Yankee Stadium was next door, went through a renovation back in the early 70s, but they had to build a whole new ballpark. Yeah. The great thing about Dodger Stadium is they did a fantastic job renovating and modernizing that stadium. I mean, it is so different, yeah. you know, once you get inside the stadium from what it was years ago. It looks the same on television, mm -hmm. but they've done so much to modernize that ballpark. And it's such a cool piece of architecture because for people who haven't been there, and I think everybody we're talking to has been there, yeah. the way it's built into the side of a hill, I remember the first time I went to my first major league game, even though I grew up in Florida, was actually at Dodger Stadium in the summer of 1980. That's great. And my fraternity brother, Jeff Gentry, we went to the game, and we had seats in the upper deck around the foul pole. But I remember we we came in through uh, that entrance that's uh, you know by the park, uh, way out past left field, and we parked, and we start walking around. We're going up these escalators and these stairs, and going, what's going on here? And yeah. Going, I was like, oh my God, this place is actually built into the side of a hill yeah. or a ravine, yeah. I guess yeah. you would say. It's just, it's a marvelous piece of architecture. It's amazing. And, and it's also cool when the drones fly over it yeah. and you can just see yeah. that, that what you're talking about, yeah. the, it being built into the side. But all the stuff they've done now behind the bleachers and the outfield, the pavilion, the and left, food. left field, instead of all the food stations and everything else is yeah. going on. And, and uh, you know the dugout club. I mean, it's just it is a, an amazing place to watch a baseball. Game. And one of my favorite places to be in that park is the top of the park. Yes. You get up there with all the hardworking class people, and the tickets are really inexpensive. But it is a great vibe, and it's the best view. You can see the skyline. See everything. Like it's oh just, yeah. It gives you goosebumps. Yeah. Turn around, and look at the city skyline oh. right there, which is just absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Or the San Gabriel Mountains when you're looking yeah. out from the outfield. Yeah. You can see all the way to Long Beach from up there. Yeah. You can see out to Santa Monica. You can see all the way up to Malibu. And like you said, out to the San Gabriel Valley. There's it's nothing the... better than a night game at dusk. <laughs> nothing better, yeah. And the palm trees. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> L.A. bleeding blue. There we go. We're, we're bleeding all over the desk. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We are proud of our city. And sure. I think that's a, a great thing. And, and by these fans showing up today, I think not only only like what I was speaking about earlier that it's just unifying us all but also too like it, people are proud yeah. people are proud to be fans people are proud of the city uh, just being able to maintain this many people downtown everyone's behaving yeah, they're doing great yeah hey Ping's with us hey Ping I want to ask you a quick question being the captain of the Dodgers I mean we had Walter Alston then of course we had Tommy Lasorda and now Dave what is the the cachet? I mean, what is the what brings them here? How is it to to run a team like this, and then to be this successful year after year, decade after decade? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I think I kind of heard you because it's so loud here. You, you talked about Dave Roberts, you're asking? Yeah, yeah. And, and Walter Austin yeah. and Tommy yeah, Lasorda. Well, I mean, well, yeah. But, I mean, Dave Roberts uh, is going to go down as that that guy. Like, he, he's got two world championships now. Uh, Manage his way through. You know, I've been here. This is my eighth eighth season here. Oh, my God. Um, and, and Dave and Dave Roberts got here. This is his eighth season. So he he has he has uh, certainly done a lot of amazing things here and uh, and the season. Here. Okay, back to you guys for right yeah, now. Yeah, we're gonna go to Gil Davis and Sky Five. Uh, Gil, what's going on? Is there any surge of fans here? On a what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. It looks like this is the end of the parade. This is at. Uh, on Fifth Street, they crossed over the bridge there, uh, crossed under the bridge there, I should say, and then the fans started to spill out onto this uh, walkway or this passageway. They, they saw that the uh, players were stopped there in their double-decker buses, and they decided to kind of break through that area, and they've run over as close as they can to get some more pictures, get another look, wave at the players, and uh, see what they're doing. But at this point, uh, there is kind of a traffic jam here at the end of the parade. As you can see, the uh, streets here are kind of narrowed, and uh, they're going to be passing through that last of the crowd. I imagine back onto the 110 freeway northbound back to the stadium. So, But at this point, the uh, fans that were uh, spilling out from the uh, right-hand side of your screen decided to come through that fence, broke through the fence, and then uh, made their way as close as they can to the players here. Well, Gil, they're not blocking the, the buses from getting on the freeway, are they? No, no. At this point, uh, they're just bottlenecked here. They're waiting to get the uh, motorcade here. You can see some of the motor officers there uh, set up to uh, come through that narrow passage there. Not a problem. They, the fans are staying their distance. They got LAPD out here uh, keeping that, that opening uh, free. And once they get through there, they'll be able to clear out and get back mm -hmm. onto the 110 freeway. Wow, that's quite a scene. Yes, and if they saw that opening, they went for it because they want to get close to the players. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we are getting we are getting close to the end, and uh, that's where Jennifer um, McGraw is at the end of the parade route. And then the okay, she's not ready right now. But then eventually uh, the players will get off those buses and head into Dodger Stadium as well. You can see uh, a lot of CHP um, yeah, sheriffs CHP, and LAPD, LAPD CHP yeah. all out. They With got the, a little ways to go. Big yellow dump truck. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're clearing the path, yeah. as you can see, and they're making sure everybody's safe and sound. You've got a lot of security in yes. an event like this. It's For very, sure. very important. Yeah. And like you said before, Lou, people are behaving. Yep. They're doing a great job. Kudos to our fans here in Los Angeles. Yeah. They let's know. keep it that way. Yeah, let's keep it that way, exactly, <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> okay, so that bus looked a little empty. I think they're sort of... Um, Probably consolidating. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at the yeah. mascots on one of them. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah it's great. <laughs> That's great. And again, they're getting through that little opening and the fans. Uh -huh. You know, when you have a chance to be this close to your heroes... That's what you do. You yeah. you come down and you want to you know say hello. You want to try and get a selfie or something like that. Get or that Taylor Swift treatment. Yeah, or throw them a yeah. throw them a can of beer or something like that. We've seen that in a lot of parades over the last couple of years. Which can hurt. The Warriors had that happen up in uh, up in Oakland. They had a had a couple of those incidents happen. But you know, it's all in good fun. All right, all right. The Dodgers uh, slowly making their way to Dodger Stadium, and that's where Wendy Birch is waiting for their arrival with a whole lot of crazy fans. Wendy. Oh, that's right. We're a lot of crazy fans. <laughs> All right. You know right where we are, Clan and Lou. We are right at gate A at Dodger Stadium. Of course, this is where we saw the buses roll on out, and this is where we know they're going to roll on back. Hold on, sir. Let me grab this. How excited are you guys? Let's go. I've always wanted to do that. All right. To set the scene, these guys are so excited. Now, let me see, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many of you have tickets to go inside? Oh, I love that. You're my kind of people. I I got no tickets. I got no tickets. These are not the stadium inside, folks. These are the stadium outside, folks. And we've got it all. We've got fans. We've got swag. We've got we've got bomb ups. You know what? Those people inside, they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. We are so excited to be here. Okay. 
sir, you've got it all going on here. What has this week been like for you? Nothing but amazement, and I want to cry, but I got sunglasses. You're not going to see me cry. Go Dodgers! If you've seen what's going on downtown, they're like 30, 40, 50 deep. We're going to see the same parade that they were seeing, but right here on the corner, the iconic Welcome to Dodger Stadium corner, the Fernando Valenzuela Shrine. The crowd keeps coming. Look at those folks over there. I'm telling you, I said when we were on this parade plans that I wanted to be on the community corner. This is the community corner right here, the real corner. Thank you. My my people got me. My people got me. Perhaps once again, not wearing practical shoes to the Dodger parade. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good. All right. All right. What grade are you? Are you still in school? Yes. What grade are you playing hooky from? Eighth. Okay. Good job. Excellent job. Uh, come here. It's National Hooky Day. What grade are you playing hooky from? Uh, six. Good job, good job. Uh, who's this young man? This young man? What grade are you playing hooky from, young man? Four. Does your mother know? Yes. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> His mother knows. His mother knows. All right, we'll send it back to you guys. Go, Dodgers! Go, 